Hi, I'm Geert van Gelen and I want to talk to you about how to assemble a basic maintenance kit and how to give your recorder some TLC. TLC stands for Tender Loving Care. This video is part of a series that accompanied the iBook Thoughts on the Recorder, which is available through my webshop katenberg.net. You can find the link in the description and I've also included a clickable link at the end of this video if you want to learn more about it. I will show you some tips and tricks on how to best deal with your recorder in order to keep it in perfect shape. First of all, you want to keep your recorder in an environment that is friendly to wood. Keep them at room temperature with a relative humidity preferably between 50 to 75 percent. This is also considered to be the best environment for people. So if your living space is within these limits, humidity-wise, you have a very sound environment for both yourself and your instruments. Once the humidity dives under 40%, you run the risk of having your instruments crack. Somehow, a too dry environment also makes recorder sounds choked up, hissy, and overall, overall just not happy. Next, after every playing session, you want to make sure you dry your instrument with a lint-free lint-free cloth on a stick and let it dry further in the open air, preferably in a vertical position. Do not put your instrument in an enclosed case when wet. This will create mildew in the windway. If you are on location and have to travel immediately after playing, you want to make sure you open up your case the moment you arrive at your destiny. The windway should always be kept clean. I will explain further how to do this. Also, always warm your instrument before playing. Warm your instrument by keeping it close to your body. It is good practice to keep the head joint in your armpit. This will warm up the windway nicely and it will prevent condensation from happening. A warmed up instrument also sounds better. Maybe the most important tip that I can give you for keeping your recorder happy is to always play with a beautiful sound. In my book I go to great lengths explaining how to get to this. I explain three different levels of playing from absolute beginners up to professional players. My last suggestion is to limit your daily practice to under one hour per instrument, except if you're dealing with a plastic instrument, of course. Next, I want to show you what my maintenance kit looks like. A small bottle of oil, preferably cold-pressed almond oil, a small artist paintbrush for oiling the labium and its walls, a wooden dowel, different size for each instrument, a flat top wooden hammer or plastic top hammer. A wooden crab hammer works too. A wooden or plastic stick with a hole on one end for putting a small lint-free cloth through for drying the recorder, as well as for oiling. Exacto knife for loosening blocks and cutting thread. A small bottle of washing soda liquid, 60 milliliters, 2 fluid ounces with two or three crystals the size of a raisin, dissolved in water. A soft children's toothbrush with a small head for cleaning the windway. A small bottle of anticondense fluid, again 60 milliliters or two fluid ounces, with one part detergent to ten parts of water. A dropper for filling the windway with anticondense. Thread for replacing broken cork or adjusting loose joints. A little container of Vaseline to nourish the cork. Some cotton swabs. Beeswax for tuning. A small bit the size of a cherry will go a long way. A needle with a plastic end for melting the wax when heated. 
a small tea light candle for melting the wax, matches exactly for lighting the candle, a thin red tail file for tuning. Recorder builder Jan Hermans suggests files used for chainsaws. Add here a small metal brush for cleaning the file. Plasticine for tuning. Here you need something more, about the size of a Brussels sprout. In the next video I will explain how to go about oiling your recorder, which is probably the single most important maintenance job you can do for your instrument. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Have a great day.